guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a different type of video with you guys. Um, I am going to do a little tutorial, as you can see by the title below, on how to curl my hair. Um, so there's all different ways to curl hair, um, there's all different tools to do so. Um, the way I do it is pretty basic and pretty simple. It doesn't even take me like over 10 minutes. Um, but so I decided to do a little tutorial with you guys on how I curl my hair and then at the end of the video we are going to do um, a couple different ways you can style curled hair. Um, so before we get started, all you need to do for this tutorial is have a hairbrush. Um, I use a flat iron or a straightener, whatever you call it, um, to curl my hair. Curling your hair does work better for me when my hair is not necessarily like entirely clean. Um, so I will normally curl my hair and then use dry shampoo just to make it look a little bit nicer on the top. Um, but that is obviously optional, you don't need it to curl your hair. Um, but yeah, with that being said, let's just jump right on to the tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a scrunchie and I'm going to part my hair directly down the middle. This is giving me the opportunity to part my hair into two sections. I will then tie up one side of my hair so that I have space to work on one side at a time. So in between curling your hair, you do want to brush out the hair every so often. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is just brush out this side of my head. And then after that, I'm going to take my straightener and I'm going to pick a small piece up from the back. Now I'm going to go in and straighten the top of that a little bit and then I'm going to go back in and curl it. Now I am going to be going in and taking turns curling it towards my head and away from my head. Doing this gives you more volume at the end of the day. Um, it makes your hair look a lot more fuller and a lot more big and, and bouncy. Um, so I like to do it towards my head and then away from my head. I do do this every other curl or every other two curls. Once I get closer to the front of my face, I do start to curl away from my face. For the rest of them, um, I stop going every other with the curls and I just continue the same way. Um, this just gives it a nicer look and it shapes your face much more when you're having the curls move away from your face. I also tend to do thinner pieces as I get closer to the end. Um, this just gives it a better look in the front. So off camera I did do most of the other side of my head just because I didn't want to sit here and bore you guys with um, me curling my hair over and over again. <laughs> um, but I am just finishing up this side, um, doing the same thing, curling the pieces forward and backwards towards and away from my head. Um, but as I am getting closer I tend to do smaller pieces and I tend to curl away from my head. At this time I will add my Moroccan oil dry shampoo just to the tops of my head um, just very lightly because I don't want a dramatic amount on there um, because I'm not able to like brush through it or anything like that. Um, so I'm just going to spray a little bit of that and then just kind of mold it into my scalp um, just kind of scratching it in there just so that it's not directly on top of my head. So obviously you can just wear your hair straight down, um, well not straight because it's curled, but you can just wear it down obviously. Um, this is what I normally end up doing when I curl my hair, but sometimes after a long day um, there are other hairstyles that you can do with your hair. 
So the next hairstyle that I'm going to do for you guys is with this scrunchie. I'm basically just going to take my hair and put it half up, half down, keeping that part in the middle. And then I am known to just pull out um, just a couple pieces in the front um, by my ears. And then I will kind of touch up the curl really quick with my fingers. Um, but this just gives like a nice relaxed hair look with it still being curly and cute. So the next hairstyle I'm going to do for you guys is one that I do all the time. Um, a lot of times I will curl my hair and then leave it curled for about one to two days. Um, but sometimes on the second day your hair is starting to get a little bit all over the place. So one thing I will do is throw it up into a very high pony, um, almost like a cheerleading high pony if you will, um, considering it is completely curled. And then this hair look is super cute in the winter, um, it's super cute with a scarf. And then same thing, I will then pull some hairs out from next to my ears just to give it a more comfortable and casual look. The last hairstyle that I'm doing for you guys is super easy, super quick. Um, basically just putting my hair in a low bun. Um, so this is popular for me anyways. After um, a long day or after a long two days of having my hair curled, um, I can just throw it in a nice cute little low bun, loosen it up a little bit, and then I will pull hairs next to my ears like I do with just about every look that I do. It is super easy to just touch up the curls with the iron, or I can just twist them with my fingers and it will stay depending on how my hair is feeling that day. Um, but this is just a super cute last minute hairstyle that you can do for like any outfit really. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Um, also comment down below which hairstyle was your favorite um, and what kind of ways you like to curl your hair um, because I'm super interested. Like I only use a straightener every time I curl my hair, but um, I used to use a wand when I was younger and there's I know there's so many different options when curling your hair, so let me know in the comments how you do yours. Um, and then I think that's it for this video. So don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.